Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Ray. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a reading on Chris Evans. He is an actor. Um, this is a reading request that some of you out there have requested. So let's get into it. I don't know anything other than he's in the acting world. I know that he dated at one time I think Jessica Bill. Um, he's been in different relationships but apparently now he's dating somebody that is normal. Rumor has it again but we're going to just see like what's coming up around him. Um, very attractive guy um, and we're just going to see like I'm going to get into it. I hope all of you are doing well. Um, again if you have any particular reading requests of you know actors or actresses that you want me to do or like singers do readings of that I haven't you can check out my playlist I've done over 200 readings uh, well over 200 probably more likely 300 of celebrities so I can revisit certain celebrities um, first card we have here is the um, seven of wands so I kind of feel like he may be going through some kind of uh, uproar where he's having to defend his position, defend himself. Um, it's a very defensive type of energy that comes through. Having to take a stand, say no to certain people, maybe in his circle. Uh, this could be in the acting world. This can be in his personal life. But I do feel like there's people that just want money, essentially, from him. Um, and so I feel like he's going to have to make some decisions around that. We have the Seven of Cups as well. So it's a lot of confusion, a lot of different options. I feel like apart from acting, there may be some other entrepreneurial aspects or things that he ventures out towards and you know really tries to do um, I do feel like he is always chasing a new opportunity we have that with the page of Pentacles I feel like it would be something new it's in its infancy stage this could be like um, investments you know uh, a new business venture um, ba basically like him cross-pollinating his own talents and his own finances um, I do get the three of swords. So when it comes to love, I think that he is one of those people that is going through something karmic. The fact that he's 40, 41 years old, he's in his 40s. Um, and he is going through like different relationships and hasn't been married yet. Um, as far as I know, um, there is some heartbreak here. So I feel like he tries to find love, but then something may go wrong. Um, and it doesn't matter if the person is famous or not. You know, if, if he's dating a plain, you know, regular civilian, a regular person, I just feel like there is problems in the horizon, even with his love life. Um, something that he is hiding or something that he is not, not necessarily hiding, but he's not being authentic or true to himself. It's almost like he is is not admitting that there is an issue or that he has part of the problem you know and then we have here the eight of swords so it's almost like he feels trapped there's a lot of fears around him he does tend to like um push people out at a distance so there's like pushing this element of pushing people out um not letting a lot of people into his life so let's see what else comes out it's very very interesting when you get to like do a reading on someone and you're looking at the cards and you're seeing what's coming up around him it feels like he may feel trapped right now this again could be like with a you know a movie role or some kind of contract that he has that he's not happy with um we have here the queen of cups so there is a lot of this energy that you know wants to give it's an energy of like i can i can do things i can be very creative i can um i can achieve things and i feel like for the most part i feel like he will i i get that um then we have here the six of cups so the six of cups it's just about his inner child. I think that he did go through some things uh, inner ch with his inner child. I feel like there may be something about children, like wanting children or like a lack in, in his life. There is this void when I tune into Chris. I don't know what it is, but there is this void that comes in um, with his energy. So I feel like in some ways he feels like he was not destined to have a certain life like other people around him. I feel like there's a lot of people that in his circle that are like, well, you should already be you know, married, you should already have kids, you should be doing this, doing that, and like pointing fingers to him. And I feel like he doesn't like to be around people like that. He doesn't like to be, he's very accepting of other people. But I also feel like there's some secrets and things um, that the public may never know regarding his sexuality, I'm not saying he's in the closet, not saying that he's bisexual or anything like that. But there are certain things in his 
personal life that again it's not anyone else's business but i feel like there's some inner conflict with the inner psyche with the heart where he feels like there's this push and pull maybe like he's the problem you know because he can't come he can't say what he wants to say or do the things that he wants to say it's like he can't free himself from that energy so it's very the chariot card comes up which tells me he's moving forward um, there will be some traveling. There will be some things that he is doing in the next couple of years. With the uh, high priest is they want him to trust his intuition. I do feel like Chris is very intuitive um, when it comes to, you know, decisions and people like that. He wouldn't have had the success that he has if he's not um, intuitive at all. So I have my Starbucks here. I'm just going to take this matcha. I'm going to just take a step here. Yum. <laughs> um, now we're going to see what else comes up for Chris. Um... We have the King of Wands. So again, um, this is an energy that is very giving, um, very compassionate. This is like somebody else, like he would call a brother, somebody that cares about him. It's like a friend that wants to really help him. But I do feel like Chris is not living like a very perfect lifestyle that we would see, even though he has money, fame, etc. There are some legit worries that come in with the Nine of Swords. So there is some sleepless nights. There's things that keep him awake. Um, and these, again, are going back to stress factors that he has. Um, I do feel like, though, he will conquer those inner demons and he will be successful with the Six of Wands here. What we see is a lot of success, victory. So whatever he wants, whatever he's fighting for, he's going to have. Um, we have here the Three of Pentacles. So when I see that, I almost always feel like it's almost like a leadership role, but also like teaching others, like studying, etc., like working together with other people. The World card comes up, which tells me he has completed a cycle in his life. So again, remember when I went back to the very part of the very beginning of my reading and I said that I felt like he um, was essentially like tapping into like not just acting, but maybe uh, investing and in, um, looking at other business ventures, etc. I feel like again, he's uh, closing out a chapter as he as we end 2020 and he goes into we go into 2020 sorry 2021 as we end 2021 and we go into 2022 um i do feel like there's some new direction a new pool and a lot of traveling i do feel like he needs to be careful with the seven of swords it comes up it just represents like a lot of people that may be around him that are kind of shady but even himself spirit is asking him to be honest and forthright with everybody in his business dealings in his own acting world etc we have here the emperor so this is exactly what he wants he wants to have like his own family eventually he wants to um have this control over his life because i feel like he's pulled in different directions and since he doesn't call the shots on every single aspect of his life like again there's contracts there's stipulation there's people always in your ear etc i feel like you know he is now going and the, the world the pandemic hit hard so it changed everything right it changed everyone for not so much the better and and when i say that I mean, like, you know, financially speaking and just other things, you know, projects and things like that. So I have here the Page of Swords. We have this. It's showing me that, you know, there's some uh, some parts of himself that he's going to have to, like, really um, look at and change. Um, and I feel like for the most part, he can do it, right? And then we have the Queen of Wands. Again, just this motherly energy that comes in. So I don't know if his mom is still alive, but I feel like... Whoever this is, I feel like there is a lot of uh, wisdom and he needs to listen to older people. Now, it's funny because I feel like within the next five years or less, he could become engaged and actually get married. Will the public know? It's very possible. The Ace of Cups comes in, but notice it's at the very part of the end of the reading as I'm getting to the very end. So it's not something that happens overnight, but this is where free will comes into play. His free will can be that he is going to, you know, decide to get engaged and get married. And I do feel like he is is destined for that in this lifetime but again things can change just because i said it right now doesn't mean that god doesn't have another plan for him because god is the ultimately one in control right the cards only so show so much my gift only gives you so much as well and then we have the strength card so notice that the ace of cups came up with the strength card together the ace of cups tells me that his relationship he will 
it won't be a perfect relationship even if he ties the knot he has and he's part of the problem because i feel like he can be very moody at times he can get down a negative down like spiral so he's going to have to make some decisions he's going to have to trust even though he doesn't know the outcome and make some decisions here and the moon is like talking about that him having clarity getting clarity into his life he needs to have that um, and he's going to continue to work hard with the Seven of Pentacles. So let me see at the last, what's the last message for him? We have here the Page of Cups. So again, new opportunities. This is new energy. It's like very, very young energy as well that comes in. So I feel like he may even be working on projects with younger people that are in their 20s, right? Or in their early 30s and kind of being a mentor, helping them in some capacity. Again, this also talks about philanthropy, but not only that, but like him uh, actually, you know, doing charity work, um, being a mentor to other people in the industry. So uh, this is the reading on Chris Evans. I hope that you liked it. I hope it made some sense. If not, just take whatever you could out of it and i hope i wish chris nothing but the best uh and all of my rays of light thank you for being here on my channel and for suggesting like i said if you want to suggest any other you know readings etc please leave a message uh, a comment in the comment section below also all of my video readings my one hour video reading is on sale right now it's 30 percent off it's marked down no promo code needed um, also, don't forget to get my new set of Oracle cards, the, the Guiding Hearts Oracle cards. They are available on my website at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. All right, guys, I love you so much. Until next time. Bye.